One of the best ways to have success in your aquarium is consistency. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over Century's Mechanical Timer, which is a great way to level up your aquarium. Coming up. Hey, what's up? It's Tyler here on Aquariums with Ty, bringing you the best tips and reviews for you to try on your aquariums. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point in the video, check out the notes and links in the description below. I'll post where you can find this product online, as well as anything I forget. Let's get into the video. So Century has a bunch of different products to choose from as far as timers go. They range from single outlet timers to power strip style timers, as well as th higher tech digital timers. They have a bunch of other stuff to choose from too, and I'll link in the description below. So for my aquarium, I need an A-socket timer, power strip. The power strip is simple and it has some great features. So let's take a look at some of the features it has. It has about a three and a half foot cord, eight outlets, four of which are on a constant power, and four of which are on the timer. And a bypass switch, which makes them all constant power. It doubles as a surge protector, and the main feature is the timer, and it can be set in 15 minute increments. You can grab this for about $22 online. So why do you need a timer on your aquarium? Like I said, consistency is important to the success of your aquarium. Consistency is even more important when it comes to lighting a planted aquarium. The time the light is on is called a photo period, and it needs to be within 8 to 14 hours, depending on what kind of plants you're keeping. My suggestion would be if you've done your research and you're still failing at a planted aquarium, then maybe try a timer if you haven't already. Like one day you could forget to turn on a light and that would undo so much work that you've done depending on how many times you keep doing this and what kind of plants you're keeping. And for those of you who have saltwater aquariums too, forgetting to turn on a light can damage your corals as well. Another thing you might not have thought of is what if you go on vacation? Having a timer on your aquarium will make going on vacation seem like any other day. There's also some other things I recommend having when you go on vacation, such as an automatic fish feeder and an auto top off system for sumps. So like I said, you can control the day cycle of your plants, the photo period. Also, you can control when your fish wake up and go to sleep. Yes, fish sleep. There's different reasons why you would do this, but the main reason is breeding. So do your research on your fish. Also, a timer can be vital for algae control. Typically, when you have algae, it's because you might have too much light. And with this timer, you can dial back 15 minutes at a time. All right, so we talked about it a little bit. Let's set it up. So you can mount this on the wall with these little holes in the back, but I'm not going to, because I'm gonna move soon. All right, so as you can see, here's the timer and you're gonna to wanna to set the time to what time of day it is. As you can see right here, it's noon. So at the time of filming this, it's 10 o'clock at night. So we're gonna rotate the dial. There, it's, 10, it's set to 10 o'clock at night. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the time that the timer is on. And you do that by pushing down these tabs right here. We're gonna set ours for 8, to 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. all the way to six. There, it's set from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Remember, each one of these tabs is 15 minutes. Then you're gonna wanna hit the bypass switch and make sure it's set to on. You can see right here that it says on right here. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in your accessories. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure the lights are set to on. These are my Hager LED lights. I did a review on these in a past video. You should check it out. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug into the wall. So after it's set up, the timer does make a quiet clicking noise as it's ticking, but it's not that loud and it's not gonna disrupt anything. Also, when the lights switch on and off, it does make a loud click noise, but most of the time you're not around to hear that anyways. And if you're sleeping because your aquarium is in your room, it's not gonna wake you up. There, that's all. Now, some of you might be wondering, do I need to set the timer every day? And the answer is no, because once you click down the tabs, they're gonna stay that way every day. So that brings us to the question of the day. 
What do you guys think about Sentry's power strip timer? Also, what cool gadgets do you guys use on your aquariums? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. And until next time, Aquariums with Ty, bringing you the best tips and reviews for you to try on your aquariums. See you next week. Later.